Welcome back. Today we do a quick one on the Letshore DT03 Type-C Portable DAC and Amp. So really quickly, if you are an ESS fan and you seek out the transparent, uncolored style of ESS DAC amps, this one will pretty much be what you are looking for. Very specific thing to look for. I tend to look for that. I don't necessarily like a whole lot of color to it. So this one sort of hit me in the right spot and I sort of knew exactly what I was getting into uh, when I plugged it in. So this is what you get in the, attract the attractive box, which is down here. You do get two USB style cables, USB-C. So this is the longer one, this is the shorter one. You do get a case included at no extra charge. If those of you who are getting sick of paying $10 or $15 for the Leather cases for your dongles, I am uh, with you. I think it's a sort of annoying practice. So this is what it looks like, and they will call it a CNC milled aluminum alloy shell. So it is metal, but it's actually quite lightweight. Uh, pretty much, I would say it feels just like aluminum. On the top, you do get balanced and single-ended. On the bottom is the USB-C. On the side, you do get the volume controls and the gain switch and nothing over there. On the back, I think it just has the bit rate. So 32-bit, 384 kilohertz, DSD up to DSD 256. This is your LED sample rate indicator, which you can't see, but that's what it is. So let's kind of jump into it, and we'll kind of go through this one quickly because it's uh, a very simple, uh, nicely executed ESS, as I said. So spec up. Dual ESS Saber ESS 9219C. Those of you familiar with the QLX 5K, that's the same ESS chip. So that one goes back a couple years, but it is a really nice ESS DAC. Single ended, you do get 78 milliwatts at 32 ohms. Balance, you do get 195 milliwatts. You do get the gain switch for a little bit extra. And as I said, it's a CNC milled aluminum alloy steel case, but it feels pretty much more like aluminum, more alu aluminum than steel. It actually has the weight of aluminum LED sample indicator, as I said. So the most important question, and I already talked about this, does it pass the ESF sniff test? And I think the answer is yes. You get a clean, extended, transparent, nothing out of place, unexpected, or colored in a way that tries to hide the ESS ness. And uh, so I think recently I, I reviewed the Rose Elsa, the newer chip, the 9039, and it really tried to hide the ESS-ness and it tried to color it and warm it up and it did a bunch of things. And not exactly why I would buy an ESS chip. I tend to look for exactly this reason. You know, these clean, extended, transparent style, uncolored is what I look for. I don't necessarily want a dongle to add any warmth to an IEM, which probably already has some warmth. So... In addition to, I think people tend to steer away from ESS because they think they are bright. So is this one ESS bright? And I'll say, yeah, there is some upper treble emphasis that you might or might not hear. It's like way up there in the treble. And I noticed it on uh, the Rolling Stones under my thumb. There's some background noise. Like it's a really old recording and there's some background noise. And I noticed it there. Like it brought that forward a little bit. And it's sort of way up there in the trebles. I don't, I don't think most people are going to notice it. I mean, I think if you are really used to colored warm dongles, you're probably going to just say it's bright anyway because it has that ESS sound to it. It's very extended all the way out through upper treble. But yeah, there was, there was something, there's kind of a little bump out there, but it's definitely further out than most people will notice. And why I prefer ESS DAX for, this, for the, all these reasons above. I prefer transparency. The point at which I need to describe how this dongle has changed the bass, mids, or treble, I'm pretty much, you lost me on that. I don't really buy that style dongle. I don't really like that style dongle all that much. I think I prefer, because my desktops, you know, desktops tend to have this transparency to them, you know, DAC amps should not necessarily color your IMs in a way that changes them. You know, I, radically is probably too much, but I don't, I don't really like a whole lot of change. And I prefer this ESS style. I have ESS on my desktop. This one sort of hits me in the same way. It's just a very transparent. It's actually not too analytical, but it could have used the filters. I think ESS, and I'm not sure this, this chip itself actually has the filters. Other ESS chips do have, the, I think, that group of seven filters, and I think those tend to give you a little bit of a refinement without going overly warm. That's how ESS tends to, to pull off refinement without adding a whole lot of warmth to the back end of it. And this is also the reason why I would say this DT03 would be a reasonable input to an amp. This very transparent, all-extended, 
plug that into an amp, which is actually going to give you a little bit more refinement and a more analog style sound. I think the two would actually pair together pretty well. So one of the things that's, I think, more difficult to do if you are a soundstage person is to hear depth on a dongle. They, they tend to not do depth all that well. So I say not just DT-03, but most dongles struggle with depth and dimension. ESS tends to sound brighter, but it's in the upper treble extension, so that tends to sound a little bit bigger. You get this kind of a bigger soundstage projection. CS CS um, and your your four three one nine eights and one three ones, those tend to be a little more emphasized, a little bit lower, kind of right there in the upper mids. That tends to sound a little bit flatter. It's definitely more susceptible to that wall of sound where you just have a really flat wall of sound in front of you. It may sound tall, it may sound wide, but it, it really has not as much depth. And I think DT-03, especially when you play with it for a little while, you can actually get a more of a sense of depth than you get on most CSS-style DACs. Again, another kind of reason why I like the ESS style. On my desktop, I know exactly what the depth sounds like and, and how to kind of move this one in a way with EQ that sounds closer to my desktops. And is it resolving? Yep, it's still, I, I, I would say the same thing. It is very resolving, but in that way where it's, it's kind of the first step, you do this digital to analog, and then the filters tend to do the analog to something that sounds more analog or more organic, more like a real instrument. And I think that's sort of where this this chip in particular, I think it still has a little bit of that digital sound. I definitely would have preferred the filters to feather the edges more and sound a little bit more analog, but that's kind of a super nitpick on a device that's, you know, a really well executed ESS DAC. So that is what I got on DT03. So thank you guys again for tuning in and I will see you next time.